The film starts with a station where a boy was sitting all alone. Then a strange woman came to the station and started acting like a crazy person. She had her hair open and was walking strangely. The boy makes a video of her and uploads it on the internet and tells everyone that this woman is behaving in a strange way. As he turned around, the woman disappeared from there. The boy even thought about where she disappeared. That's why he went to that place and checked, where the train gate opens on its own, but the surprising thing was that no train had come there. Then the boy started hearing a voice from the track. That's why he sat down, put his mouth inside, and started checking, and then the gate closes on its own. The boy's throat was cut and crushed due to coming in between, and such a painful death happens to him. After this, we see a reporter girl whose name was Nayong. Recently, she made a report about an actress and gave her news. The report was going viral. They made her news report without the permission of that actress. Because of this, she was so angry that she complained against their company. Because of this, the company is fined 50 million. Because of this, Nayong's boss is very angry with her and says all this happened because of you. Now either you will pay this fine or make a report like this, which will go viral like this and reach the heights of success. In this way, the views on our report will increase and more ads will come, due to which we will have so much profit that we can pay this fine. Now after hearing this, Nayong got confused. What should I do now? Now Nayong has to go to that station for some work where she met her friend. Her friend tells Nayong that when you went from the station that day, I saw a boy who suddenly came in front of the train and died. He took his life, although I tried to save him, but it was too late. The strange thing is, is that at the same time, I also saw a small child on the track who was completely alone. It has been heard that exactly the same thing was seen by another man who works as a mortician at the station. A mortician is the one who prepares the corpses for funeral, burial, etc. Nayong's friend says that now I give you shocking information. That child was actually a ghost, and the man who took his life, his condition was such that he was in someone's control. Now after hearing this, Nayong decides here that now I'm going to make my report about this ghost station, in which this station will be brought in front of everyone. This can go viral. Now Nayong goes to meet that mortician who says, yes, I also saw a small child on that track. Then after hearing this, Nayong starts making a report about this station. She tells her friend that there are cameras here. Then you give me the camera recording of that day. Then her friend secretly takes out the recording of that day. Now when Manong's friend was washing his face in the washroom, suddenly he hears a drowning sound. He gets very scared. But when he came out of there, he found out that it was my friend who was scaring me. Actually, after that incident, it was on his mind for many days, and he started having the same scary dreams. Coincidence here was that his friend used to scare him just like that. Now one day, Nayong's friend sees four numbers on the screen. It was strange that who wrote here, but he ignores this thing. Now, Nayong's friend tells him to help him more in his report that I have just seen the train driver going in a very strange condition. He was very lost. Now, taking advantage of this opportunity, Nayong leaves for that place so that she can interview the driver. She saw the driver who was sitting in one place. She also sits next to him and starts interviewing him, but he was dumbfounded. He was lost and didn't talk to her. At the same time, we saw that a ghost of a child is sitting on the neck of the driver who is holding the driver's neck with his hands. And because of this, strange marks were formed on his neck. Now the driver gets up from there and starts going towards the basement, behind which Nayong also goes. The driver stood facing the wall and was saying four numbers again and again, which was 0319. Now Nayong's friend had also seen four numbers like this. And now this driver also turns into a ghost and his face looks very terrible. The next moment, the driver vanishes from there. Now Nayong was in the train. She was happy because every passenger there was, was reading the news of her station because it was really quite viral. But when she looked down, there was a ghost of a child sitting there whose leg seems to be pulled down by holding it. Seeing this, she was very scared. And with her scream, Nayong regains consciousness, meaning all this was her dream. But when she looked up, all the people working with her were bringing cakes because the news of the station was really viral and millions of people were watching that news. Because of it, everyone was very happy. Nayong's boss says the driver you were interviewing died a few days ago and you were sitting alone at the station. Now she does not believe this, 
That's why she checks the camera recording of that day where she was really alone. The driver was not sitting with her, which surprised Nayong, and the one who went to the basement was the ghost of the driver. But still, it was as difficult for Nayong to understand all these things. That's why she decides to go to that girl who was sitting with the driver that day, and when Nayong was coming to interview there, she left from there. Now, Nayong goes to meet that girl, whose name was Te, and she starts talking to Nayong strangely. She tells him that the man who jumped in front of the train and took his life actually came there to find the well which is near the station. She then started telling a story here, that a well was made near the station a long time ago, in which a murderer had imprisoned all the children, and they were never taken out of there. Because of it, all the children were slowly killed, and now this station is haunted only because of those children, because their souls come here and scare people, and they take their lives by controlling them. Who was the murderer and why did he do that? What are those numbers? That girl doesn't tell here. Now Nayong searches on the internet about that well. She sends the pictures of this well to Tay. Because of this, she remembers much, but she doesn't tell anything to Nayong. After a while, Tay picks up a diary in which many numbers were written. The surprising thing was that those numbers were also four. There was also a picture in the diary in which two children were standing in front of an orphanage where orphan children are kept who don't have anyone in this world. The biggest thing is that the name of this orphanage was the same, which was of that station. So now Tay looks at this picture very carefully and she starts to remember something. It seemed that she has a connection with this picture and the orphanage. Now, Nayong and her friends come to the mortician who was taking them to show the corpse of that driver because Nayong wanted to make some pictures of him. But when they removed the sheet from the corpse, there were a lot of marks on his body, which seemed to be made of nails. Then the mortician gives information here that these marks are actually the marks of those children's nails because their souls nail their bodies whose death is about to happen. Because all the corpses brought here, all have such marks on their bodies. And these marks and those four numbers only tell who is the next victim of those children's souls. Now here, Nayong's friend notices that the same marks have been made on the mortician's arm. And far away, a child's soul was sitting on his neck. Seeing this, he gets scared, but he did not tell them this, because it was a sign that the mortician was also going to die. Now, Nayong sees that the news of the station is going viral very fast. It has become so hit that now it is getting a million views but it also had a bad effect on people. Now, as many people were going to that station and they used to upload their videos on the internet. Not only this, in fact, they were making fake nail marks on their bodies and were uploading their pictures on the internet. When a girl goes to the station, she gets nail marks on her neck. To hide them, she went to the washroom, but there some children's souls attack her. Because of this, she loses her control and started walking there strangely because a soul had also pulled her badly. But then those souls close her in the washroom and ends her by suffocating her. And strange sounds were heard from the washroom. Nayong's friend's friend, the station worker, comes to check, but we also see nail marks on his neck, where many children's souls start scaring him too. And then together, they attack him in such a way that they end him. Now, Nayong goes to her friend's funeral, and then she meets her friend, who is crying, and says, I also saw a little girl's soul a few days ago whose clothes had four numbers written on them. And look, I also have nail marks on my hand. He shows his hand to Nayong and says, while weeping, I am scared of this because I will also die soon. Later that night, as he sleeps, he has nightmares of those children, all their souls sitting on him and pulling him, then taking him to the well and throwing him in. He wakes up in fear and goes straight to Nayong to tell her about everything. Together, they decide to find a solution and hurry to Tay's house. There, Tay reveals a secret. She tells them that the girl who jumped and took her life, whom their friend tried to save, was her brother. He went to the station searching for the well, and the reason for his death was the same. They check his mobile and find a video where Tay's brother says, I've found the well, and shows the scene inside, with the children's skeletons lying in pieces. Seeing all this, they decide to find the well and do a funeral for the children using their skeletons. So their souls can finally rest, and they'll close the well forever. Nayong and her friends head to the station and follow the tracks, reaching a dark and scary tunnel 
where the children's souls repeatedly try to scare them, but they push forward with courage. Finally, they find the well, but the children's souls rise from it and move toward them, intending to kill them. Nayong starts weeping and says, Don't worry, we'll bring your story, your truth, in front of everyone. Hearing this, the children scream and cry, showing how much pain they endured. They take the pieces of the children's skeletons out of the well, and it seems like this game of death is finally over. However, Tay isn't happy, as it's clear that with the souls gone, people lost interest in the news and the views stopped coming. Cases with suspense and unsolved mysteries attract attention, and this was no longer one of them. Her boss scolds Nayong and suspends her, insulting her greatly. Nayong is furious but can't do anything. Then, her friend, who works at the station, sees a girl's soul again, trying to scare him, and it becomes clear that the game of death isn't over. He remembers that the mortician also had marks on his hand and rushes to check his own, but the marks are gone, meaning the mortician found a way to escape this curse. He shows his hand to the mortician, asking for help, but the mortician refuses and leaves. Nayong's friend chases him home, where he sees something shocking, but we aren't shown what it is. That night, Tay visits Nayong, showing her the nail marks on her hand. Tay reveals a terrifying truth. When they went to find the well, the mortician attacked her, forcing her to say four numbers, threatening her life. That's when the curse came upon her, and now she too will die. Tay asks Nayong how she knows this is a curse that transfers from person to person. Tay explains that her father, who knew much about these things, told her, and she reveals another secret. She is the daughter of the man who imprisoned all those children in the well, her stepfather. She confesses she was one of the children trapped in the well, but her stepfather took her out at her stepbrother's request. The other children begged her to free them, but her stepfather was cruel and had assigned each child a four-digit code, like 1020 or 2019, by which he knew them. After their deaths, their ghosts carried these numbers. Her stepfather, who ran an orphanage, used to kill, dismember, and sell the children's bodies. But when the police began to suspect him, he imprisoned them in the well. Tay and her brother witnessed this horror, but were too scared to help. Now Tay is overwhelmed with guilt for betraying the children. She weeps, remembering everything. To end this cycle of death, the only way is for those cursed, marked with the nails, to die. Nayong returns home, lies in bed, and contemplates everything but eventually falls asleep. The next morning, her friend calls and tells her he has changed his phone number, asking her to note it down. As he starts to give his number, Nayong begins saying hers, but stops after uttering four numbers. The curse now transfers to her, and it becomes clear her friend planned this, having followed the mortician's instructions. He apologizes and explains that he wants to live, which is why he did this to Nayong before cutting the call. He had made her say the numbers tied to the haunted station thus transferring the curse. Now worried for her life, Nayong thinks hard and decides to pass the curse onto her boss as revenge. She visits her boss, tells her she will resign if she says four numbers, and eventually tricks her into saying them. The curse shifts to her boss, who knew about the haunted station and souls. As Nayong leaves, her boss screams, noticing the nail marks on her hand, realizing what happened, and knowing she won't survive. This curse will continue, passing on until those marked by it die. And so, the movie ends.